Learning more about the dangers of hard hits in football and recent headlines have shown that the after effects can be devastating for former football players. Well, now there's a new study that confirms the problem and the consequences and one local family knows that firsthand. KTK's Roger Gray joins us live in our news update center with this story. Roger. Yeah, guys, Laurie Hartwig is a nurse at Trinity Mother Francis Hospital, so she knew the damage that rough contact sports can cause. But when she saw the results of her dad's autopsy, and the reason for his Alzheimer's, even she was surprised. When David Lunsford's obituary ran in the paper in 2009, many remember him as a civic-minded local businessman. What many didn't know is that he was an All-American football player at both TJC and Baylor. He then went on to play in the NFL for the then Chicago Cardinals for a couple of seasons starting in 1957. David played on the line. He was hit in a game and he doesn't remember the rest of the game he played, the rest of the game he doesn't remember the rest of the game, he doesn't remember the bus ride home, he doesn't remember anything for the rest of that day. And he played both ways, he played defense and offense. So he was out there the whole time, so taking hits on offense, getting right back out there, taking hits on defense. And when he developed symptoms of Alzheimer's, his family wondered if the persistent beating that football involves could be a cause. My mom and dad suspected when he first started having signs of neurological problems that it was more chronic head trauma than Alzheimer's. A group called the Sports Legacy Institute asked if the family would donate his brain for a study of what is known as CTE or chronic traumatic encephalopathy. That is disorders caused by constant hits to the head. We talked about it as a family and decided that was something we wanted to do. The families of many other athletes from high school to the pros have also so donated to the study. The results were published this month and show that of 35 former NFL players, 34 showed signs of the condition. But Hartwig is gratified they made the decision to get involved. He would definitely take some comfort from knowing that he was able to help. Would you let your kid play football though, knowing what you know now, knowing what you saw no. your dad go through? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't let one of mine do it. I would never put one of my family members through what we went through with my dad. By the way, the study showed that the trauma among even high school age players is only a little less than that for the pros. It's a lot more than the proverbial getting your bell rung. Live in the News Update Center, Roger Gray, KTK News.